Fight Radio, Bruno Mars, The Lazy Song, and uh, here we are. It's time to play uh, today's Headline or Hearsay with Classic Cottages. Jamie joins us. Morning, Jamie. How are you? Good morning. I'm all right, thanks. How good. Uh, we're, we're good. good. We're, we're very good, of course. Um, Two yeah. nil up for the week, so yeah. Feeling well, great. No, I don't, I don't like to... No. You know. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> don't like to rub it in, you no. know, just bring it up. But basically all to play for today. Yeah. Just Emily, you need to move that way because we can't see you. Oh, sorry. There you, there you go. <laughs> Goodness sake. Uh, right, OK, so it is time for Headline or Hearsay. If you're on Facebook, you can join in and play along at home. Facebook.com forward slash Isle of White Radio is the place to be. OK, let's start off with story number one. <laughs> An Amazon customer who'd saved more than a month's wages to buy a high-end laptop worth more than £2,500 was shocked when a £20 mop arrived in its place. Aaron Gander had intended to use the computer for gaming and had squirreled away the cash for months. But when the parcel arrived, he was immediately concerned when it was so light. After several phone calls and emails, Aaron managed to get his money back and has warned others about bogus delivery drivers. Headline or hearsay. So instead of a computer, he got a mop. He did. Uh, but they're different sizes. So, uh, was it a telescopic mop? Because <laughs> I don't understand otherwise. Because, if you know, if a long box came, like a mop-shaped box, I'd be like, hmm. It's well, a mop. <laughs> this laptop is very odd looking. Hmm. So what do we think then? Are we going headline or hearsay uh, this morning? Uh, Tom thinks it's headline. Uh, Emma Elliott thinks it's headline. Julie says, uh, morning, hearsay. Who else have you got there? Uh, Yolanta uh, just says, good morning. Uh, Emma says, headline. Uh, Keith says, headline as well. Okay, which one are we going to go with, Emily? Headline or hearsay? Um, oh, I don't know. Headline. More people are saying headline, so let's go with that. And then I can blame Facebook if it's wrong. Okay, um... Why did you pull that funny face? <laughs> oh. Trying to throw you off the scent a little bit. Is it headline? Is it hearsay? He was nodding his head in a funny way. <laughs> mm. Which one are we going with? Headline. We're going with headline. Headline it is. Jamie. Headline it is. Hey! Yay! It's a headline. Okay. Uh, right. Well, you've still got two more to go. All is not lost, Jamie. Just here, about. We, here we go. Comedian Mickey Flanagan might need to get himself a world map after booking a hotel in the wrong country. The funny man was due to perform in Manchester, but his PA accidentally booked a stay in a hotel in Manchester, Massachusetts, in America. <laughs> it all ended well, though, as, Minnie, uh, as Mickey managed to get a refund before booking a room in the right Manchester. Oh, that's good. Headline or hearsay. I can tell a very, very similar story to this. It's very easily done. Uh, Is it? Well, uh, yeah. I, I say this because uh, I'm not going to. I'm gonna, not going to name uh, who it was, uh, other than to say it was my wife. Uh, we went on holiday, and um, we had the booking for the accommodation, and it was in one part of France, and we got off the uh, the ferry in France at Calais. And uh, I'm thinking, OK, it's going to be about a three-hour drive to, uh, to our site. Put in the, uh, the postcode and all the details, press the button, and it went 12 and a half hours and 1,200 miles. No. Because there are two... I can't remember what the place was called, but there are two places in France that are exactly the same name. Oh. <sighs> yeah, it was a bit awkward. Not good. No, a bit awkward. Anyway, so... Uh, Did this happen to Mickey Flanagan? Yes, that's the Charlotte question. Charlotte says hearsay. David says hearsay, Luke says hearsay, Emma says hearsay, Aaron says hearsay, everyone's saying hearsay. So we'll go with hearsay, yeah. shall we? Hey, hearsay, Jamie? It is hearsay. Oh, <laughs> Jamie! Jamie, well Jamie, Jamie. Wow. We need to find a way of evening the odds because you obviously can't play normally. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can't, it's Facebook. We're, we're, too, we're too good for you. Oh, let's do one let's more. Let's do the last one anyway. Yeah, just for fun. Yeah. 
Facebook aims to have a working teleportation station by 2025. Physical teleportation doesn't look likely anytime soon, but Facebook could be about the, to do the next best thing using VR technology. It says that it hopes to create a gadget which could simulate it by 2025. The director there says Facebook wants to build a device that allows you to be anywhere you want with anyone, regardless of geographic boundaries. Headline or hearsay. Great idea. 2025. I think it could happen sooner than that. Because it's not, not actual teleportation. So really what they're saying is you put on a VR headset and I go uh, pool topping at uh, Dodner Park and you do the same and then we look in our little screeny eye things and then it would look like you were next to me. So we wouldn't have to show up to work. <laughs> What an idea. I'm like, when's this coming out? Yeah, I was going to say, 2025. Yeah, I, is that 25 past I eight? that's possible. <laughs> Easily. What does Facebook think? Uh, Nick Skirt says, fact. He obviously doesn't know how the game works. <laughs> uh, David says, headline. Keith says, hearsay. Haley says, headline. Richard Salmon says, good. Excellent. Brilliant. That's Charlotte says, hearsay. Emma says, headline. Holly says, headline. Uh... Elizabeth says headline. I'm not sure. I'm not sure the need for it. No, I can't. It's just another excuse not to leave your house, isn't it? That's the trouble. Oh, I'm liking that need. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. So, which one are we going for, Emily? Headline. We're going headline, Jamie. It's a headline. Oh, oh you can't beat the well internet. Well done, Facebook. You see, the problem is, Jamie. The problem <laughs> is Emily, basically, yeah. because. Uh, I've got I'm not going to gonna deliberately lose. No, I was going to say, Hayley and I used to take pity on you occasionally. <laughs> and we would, what we are you would, doing? I know, and we would ca occasionally like throw it and go yeah. with one that we can't think. Occasionally we would throw it and then we'd find out that we were right. <laughs> uh, but, you know, occasionally, um, yeah. But Emily doesn't play like that. No, no. no. Very serious. She is one tough cookie. Very I mean, competitive. <laughs> Is there a prize? No. No. <laughs> That's headline or hearsay for today. Thank you so much to everybody who's taken part uh, on the interactive side of the show on Facebook. You can do it again tomorrow if you didn't have a chance today. You can watch it again later with Classic Cottages. Uh, it's 7.43. What's the score so far, Jamie? Um, I think you're just winning. Just oh. winning, yeah. Just 3-0. Yeah, just 3-0. Yeah. 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 Emma says, apparently, I've got to step up my game. So thanks, Emma. <laughs> there you go. Wow. <laughs> Emma really knows how to make you feel better, <laughs> doesn't she? <laughs> Latest travel news for the Isle of Wight on the way in just a little while after the Backstreet Boys at Isle of Wight Radio. You are.